Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we are going to discuss the question longest increasing subsequence length. What does this mean? It means that given a sequence, find the longest subsequence such that all the elements in the subsequence are in the sorted order. So for this example, our longest increasing subsequence is minus 1, 0, 2 and 3. So the length is 4. For this example, the longest increasing subsequence will be 2, 5, and 8. So the length will be 3. So how do we solve it? Yes, we will have to use Daniel programming to solve this problem. Let's try to solve this particular example. So we start with a temporary array of the same size as the original array. Okay? So now, what do we know about the longest increasing subsequence for every element? You, or you can clearly say that at least the longest increasing subsequence is of length 1 at every position. So let's fill this one with 1 initially. Okay. So now let's have i start from the first position, i be at this position, and j is at index 0. Okay? If element at if element at j is less than element at i, that means that the longest increasing subsequence at i will at least be the longest increasing subsequence at j plus one. So this becomes two. Okay. Now as soon as j reaches i, we reset and we make i plus one, and j again starts from zero. If element j is less than i, which is not in this case, we do nothing. We increase j by 1. Again, element j is not less than i, so we do nothing. And reset i to 3. And j again to 0. Element j is again not less than i, so we do nothing. Here also, element j will not be less than i, so we come here. Element at j is less than element at i, so what that means is the longest increasing subsequence at i will at least be the longest increasing subsequence at j plus 1. So let's make this guy 2. And then we have i here and j again starts from 0. Now element at j is less than element at i. So the longest increasing subsequence will be at, at 6 will be at least be 1 plus 1, so 2. Okay. Now j becomes 1. Element at j is less than element at i, so the longest increasing subsequence at i will at least be 2 plus 1, so 3. Okay. Now j becomes So the element at j is less than element at i, yes, but the longest increasing subsequence at 6 is already of size 3, while if we, uh, while if we include this one, the longest increasing subsequence at 6, what we can do is 1 plus 1, 2. So why do we use that value when I'm already getting 3 from 3 and 4? So I'll not do anything about it. So now j becomes 3. Again, the longest increasing since element at j is less than i, the longest increasing subsequence at 6 will be 2 plus 1, 3, but we already have 3 from 3 and 4, so it makes no difference. So now i becomes points at 2, and g again starts from 0. Element at j is not less than element at i, element at j is not less than element at i, so j becomes 2. Element at j is less than i. So this value becomes 2. 
Okay? Again, element at j is less than element at i. So this value becomes 2 plus 1, 3. Okay? Element at j is not less than element at i. So we do nothing about it. So now our i is this. Element at j is not less than element at i. Element at j is not less than element at i. So j becomes 2. Element at j is less than element at i. So here we, it makes it 2. Okay? This guy is again less than this guy, so this becomes 3. And j becomes points to 6. This guy is not less than this guy, so finally j points to 2. This guy is less than this guy, so the longest increase in subsequence here will be 3 plus 1, 4. Once this array is built, all you have to do is iterate through this array and get the maximum value which is the length of your longest increasing subsequence. So what is our formula here? Our formula is pretty straightforward. If ARR of J is less than ARR of I, then T of I is equal to max of what is already in i or t of j plus 1. You can find the full solution at this link, github.com, mission piece, interview, wiki. Thank you.